analogy. Just imagine that the dogs had invented us as their, their super intelligent AIs, right? Uh, for the purpose of making their lives better, you know, just securing resources for them, securing comfort for them, making getting the medical attention. Um, it's been working out pretty well for the dogs for about 10,000 years, right? I mean, there's some exceptions with that mistreat certain dogs, but generally speaking, for most dogs, most of the time, humans have been a great invention, right? Now, it's true that the, the mismatch in our intelligence dictates a, a fundamental blindness with respect to what we've become in the meantime, right? So we have all these instrumental goals and things we care about that they cannot possibly conceive, right? They know that when we go get the leash and say, it's time for a walk, they understand that particular part of the language game. But everything else we do when we're talking to each other, when we're, when we're on our computers or on our phones, they don't have the dimmest idea of what we're up to. And if we, have, if, if something happened, if we, if we love, the truth is we love our dogs. We make just irrational sacrifices for our dogs. We prioritize their health over all kinds of things that is just amazing to consider. And yet, if we learn, if there was a new you know, global pandemic kicking off and some xenovirus was jumping from dogs to humans and it was just kind of super Ebola, right? It was just, it was 90% lethal. And if this was just a forced choice between, what, what, what do you value more, your, the, the lives of your dogs or the lives of your kids, right? If that's, if that's the situation we were in, it's totally conceivable. I mean, it's not, a, you know, not by, by no means impossible. We would just kill all the dogs right? and they would never know why. 